Yannick, all I have here is that, that, that you're going to talk to us on company, common company law considerations that you're the senior associate in the corporate and commercial division at Cliffy Decker Hoffman. So I welcome you to the podium. You've got half an hour. Thank you. Thanks very much. Um, the discussion that I'll take you through is uh, not actually about tax, so I hope there won't be any withdrawal symptoms. So just for half an hour, I'm going to deal with some practical and uh, prominent company law considerations as they, um, as they apply to small and medium companies. Uh, these issues arise a lot in practice. So that's the outline of the uh, discussion that I'll go through. Uh, the provisions of the New Companies Act on the provision of financial assistance, uh, distributions, share buybacks, company formations and deregistrations, and uh, some selected aspects around shareholder disputes and uh, shareholder exits from private companies. First of all, um, financial assistance and uh, distributions, uh, starting with Section 45, of the Companies Act, that's certainly a section that has featured uh, quite prominently in the context of uh, small to medium uh, companies, actually in, in the context of any group companies. The provision of financial assistance. Um, section 45 deals with the provision of financial assistance to uh, directors and also to uh, persons related to directors of companies, but it extends quite far beyond that. It also deals with financial assistance given to related uh, companies or corporations. And related in terms of the Companies Act, uh, that is an element of control. So a company is related to another company if it controls uh, that second company. And also if companies have a common controller, they are related to one another. So the typical or general example uh, is companies within a group holding company and a subsidiary and co-subsidiaries are related to one another. And therefore under Section 45, if there is any intercompany or intergroup finance amongst those entities, it is regulated by Section 45. Not prohibited, but there are requirements that you have to comply with. Under that section, there needs to be a board resolution approving the uh, financial assistance, and the board has to be satisfied that the company will meet the solvency and liquidity test under Section 4 of the Companies Act after the provision of that financial assistance. So it is the company providing the financial assistance that has to comply with Section 45. The board must also be satisfied that the terms under which the financial assistance uh, is, is advanced are fair and reasonable to the company. And you need a shareholder resolution, a special resolution approving that financial assistance. Section 46 uh, deals with distributions. Uh, so obviously the general example there is a dividend paid by the company to its shareholders. But the definition of distribution in, the, in Section 1 of the Companies Act is much wider. Um, it also includes a scenario where the company incurs a, a debt or obligation for the benefit of any of its shareholders or for the benefit of any shareholder of a group uh, company. Uh, so sometimes there is an overlap between the applicability of Section 45 and Section 46 in the particular circumstances, uh, but it is not necessarily the case. They do deal with distinct type of scenarios, and the requirement under Section 46 for a distribution is that the board must pass a solvency and liquidity a resolution approving that distribution. So some practical aspects that have arisen since the commencement of the Act and the operation of these provisions. Um, the first one really has been an administrative and practical aspect. Every time now when the company advances financial assistance, which happens to fall under Section 45 of the Companies Act, must there be a board resolution, a board meeting convened, and a shareholder meeting convened to approve that particular financial assistance. In practice, the solution or workaround, uh, and I think it also works certainly from a legal perspective, is what you'll find is that at every AGM, for instance, of the company, the shareholders will pass a uh, general authorizing financial assistance resolution. And they'll pass it by a special resolution, and they'll say,